hi there we're in door county wisconsin at peninsula state park we're going to ride the bike trails and roads within this park it says here that it's uh about 9.6 miles if you take the bike trail then come back on the paved roads uh we'll do that it looks pretty nice it's cliffs lake uh I'd see green bay along the way a lot of forests so we'll see that beach forest forest and uh, we're hoping this uh, cloudiness will burn off like it's supposed to and get some great views. So it should be beautiful. Come along with us. The trail is a mixture of, it looks like dirt, packed gravel, and uh, paved. So we saw some paved sections. And it looks like it's kind of thin in spots, so you have to be careful. You have to buy a state park sticker to get in here. And then I think you're supposed to be buying a... Uh, a bike path and then there's a Loyola University cross-country team training here oh well, we made it about a quarter mile and we're going to the bathroom here at the park headquarters looks like you only need a state tra state trail pass if you're cross-country skiing or mountain biking at least that's what the sign said Yeah, we're running into quite a bit of mud from the rain yesterday. I'm glad I switched out the tires on these. The ones we had were pretty good, but I went to a 1.75 or one and three quarter inch tire. That's a little more aggressive, a Continental. Good choice. Now this section of the trail has a little better base on it, so you can roll, go a little faster, not so much mud. Definitely not a trail you want to bring your uh, road bike on. High red with wide tires, or the foldage like we got with wide tires, or your mountain bike, fat tire, would all work. Signs telling you to run, ride single file, which is a good thing. Lots of bicyclists. It's a narrow road, lots of little twists through here, but boy, how beautiful is this, huh? Decided to come down and sit by Green Bay here, and as I was walking along, I noticed that these uh, are seashells or crustaceans of some nature that bake up the beach here. Yeah, we hit the little bit of section that we saw that was paved when we were driving through the park. Definitely a hilly little trail. Uh, passing by one of the, uh, I think we've seen at least four, if not five, different distinct campground areas in this uh, park. All look very wooded. Took a quick stop and enjoyed some snacks we got at the Nicolet Bay store. So the amphitheater parking there, 
I'm guessing we're gonna go right past the theater here in the northern Sky Theater. Oh, it looks like a real theater, like actor theater. So we decided we're gonna go see the uh, Eagle's Nest Lookout thing, but you have to go on the road for that. But the cars are supposed to be going 15 miles an hour. So we're gonna divert to the road for a mile or so and then come back. It's a pretty steep climb up here to the Eagle Tower on the road. Well, the Eagle Tower. So I guess we'll walk up there and take a look, even though it is pretty foggy. I'm not sure what we're going to see. Well, that was something quite a climb, but Nice view up there. Too bad it wasn't clear today. But maybe we'll try to come back if it clears up today or tomorrow morning. Well, now we're off the main drag on Skyline, Skyline Road here. This is where they used to have an old ski jump here. What a pleasant ride. Julie says it's like having our own little bike path. So now we intersect at the uh, bike trail. We're gonna take that back to the car here about a mile or so, instead of riding on the busy main road. Uh, coming in here to the parking lot nice little loop we did there with the little extra to the eagle tower which i think you need to do that skyline was nice just riding along the road with no cars really probably about 10 miles or so there's quite a bit of elevation up and down and definitely not for road bikes as julie said in the video there it's just a beautiful trail so come and get some here at peninsula state park till our next adventure so i was talking how i had replaced the uh Kenda tires that were really good on these folding bikes with some Continental ones that are an inch and three quarters with a more aggressive tread and where well, they worked really well on this trail today. When we got back to our hotel in Ephraim the sun was shining so we had some showers and went out and had some wine and enjoyed the view. You can still see the clouds over Peninsula State Park in the background there. We went out to have some Detroit style pizza at Bad Moravian. Good stuff. After a day of rain, it was good to be back on the bikes, and Peninsula State Park was a fun place to go. Very picturesque and a nice set of bike trails with varying types of surface. Highly recommend it. It's not real long in distance, but it makes up for it in beauty and fun.
Thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment below and subscribe so you can stay current with our adventures.